Well, guys, I am here finally to tell you why I have selected to keep the magical S7 speaker that is right next to me, right behind me. It's been a very difficult video for me to publish because I haven't had to do this in the past with other speakers that I have owned. Um, I've never done it with Wilson. I've never done it with Magna, Pan, Martin, Logan, um, and uh, many other brands that I cannot think of. Today, I am simply going to be very open with you all as to why I have sold the Focal Maestro Evos and kept these magical S7 behind me. Are you interested in knowing what is my reasoning behind it? Okay, stay tuned and find out. Welcome back everybody. Thank you for your time, your support, your love. Please subscribe, hit that bell button, hit that notifications button so that you are informed each time I publish a new video. Guys, uh, it is absolutely a blessing to be able to own two of the best loudspeakers to ever enter my lab, Magical and Focal. The Magical speaker that you see behind me was bought through a dealer in Canada and it was a very difficult speaker to locate. It is one actually of the hardest speakers to get hands on. Now I do not know if Magical simply did not produce a lot of these S7s or the fact that maybe a lot of the S7 owners are simply not embarking on selling this particular product. I can tell you at a high level that this speaker has completely redefined loudspeaker performance in my room. And to extrapolate a little bit on that, let me just say that one of the best things that this speaker has done in my room has been the impact, the bass. Again, that huge dynamic, that thunderous um, low register that I don't recall any other speaker ever having in my room. Could it be the sealed cabinet? Could it be the fact that it's just six 10 inch woofers being controlled by the Boulder 3010? I really do not know guys, um, but I can definitely tell you that if you are not hearing bass, real deep low registers through YouTube, it's because probably you are putting your phone on speaker or your tablet on speaker or you are just refusing to use headphones, even these $10 headphones that you see here, okay? Even these things can show you that there is tremendous bass in my room. Some of the comments on the last two videos where I displayed the magical S7s have been quite positive. A lot of you guys, you, have had a very negative opinion about the product, about magical, about being too bright, too analytical, too cold, too sterile. Let's keep it real. We've all heard, we've all heard those conversations, okay, in the past, in the hallway, at a show, at a store. We've all heard them, okay? Let's keep it real, okay? And I'm not going to be here sugarcoating things. I was in the beginning stages of my magical journey, one of those commentators, okay? I was. However, after owning the S7, I have realized that it was a lot with the fact, it has to do a lot with the fact that I was not prepared to embark on the level of work that it takes to properly dial in a speaker like this. It takes money. It takes careful attention to detail. It takes, it's kind of like if you own other loudspeakers, you've been given regular scissors to cut paper. 
With the magical, you are given a scapula, and now you're supposed to have a steady hand to be able to cut through paper. It's much more difficult. However, when you get there and you're capable of doing this level of work that the speaker needs, what you are, what you are rewarded with is a phenomenal presentation. The speaker does things that I simply do not recall any other speaker doing in my room. Now, I understand I've had the magical M6, and I've been very vocal about it. I didn't have enough electronics with that speaker, so I am going to leave that speaker out of this conversation. I'm going to pretend it never came through my room. The magical S7, to me, is the speaker that I feel serves me the best for what I do, for what I do on this YouTube channel for the testing of the smallest things, for the testing of ethernet cable, for the testing of a power cord, for the testing of anything you can think of. The S7 is more than ready to show me if indeed something makes a difference or does not make a difference in the system. Now that does not mean that I am going to discredit what the Focal Maestro Evo did. That's not what I'm saying here. The Focal Maestro was also very transparent it was also very very beautiful sounding it's got great scale huge bass um, it had a lot of interesting attributes phenomenal phenomenal company to work with actually uh, focal has been a class act with me um, just like many other brands have been okay so if you own a focal maestro you have one of the best loudspeakers to ever grace my lab I can assure you that you are in front of one of the very few speakers that I can probably put my name behind, okay? Moving back to the conversation of the Magic OS 7. I've spoken to a lot of different people, people that are very close to me, and they all agreed that the S7 seems to check more of my boxes. Uh, it seems to also blend better in my room. It seems to also present to me what I have been doing with, with regards to electronics, cables, even lifting cables off the ground. Something that you guys never saw me do in the past. But this speaker just simply motivates me to go to lengths that I have never explored before. It forces me. It makes me want to come out and do the minute, tiniest things, uh, tinker with those things that I never bothered to do in the past. Why? Because it just really showcases, it really serves it on a platter. I don't have to work hard to understand um, if something really made an improvement or not. I don't have to do this as I did with other speakers to understand, did I hear something? Let me see. Let me try again. I don't have to do this with this speaker. This speaker just does it. I don't have to work hard to understand if something changed in the presentation or not. I personally find that quite appealing. Oftentimes, I don't have the bandwidth, the energy to sit through three hours of a listening session to understand if a regular cable or a small, tiny thing made a difference or not. Sometimes, guys, that's what I have to do in my lab. I have to sit through hours and hours to understand if something really made an improvement or not. With this S7, it takes me minutes to understand what happened. Now, you guys just saw the video of my strum tank and the fact that I am a dealer for this incredible power conditioner. Something that I have not been vocal about, or probably I has I have not been as vocal as I should have been, is the fact that the Magical S7 and the Focals have used either the S1000 Strum Tank or the 2500 Quantum throughout their time here, throughout their tenure here in the room. It is very important that you guys do not underestimate the importance of this Strum Tank. It adds a lot of positive attributes to the presentation. Um, I wish I would have had a strum tank in my earlier days with the Wilson XLF, with the Alex, 
um, with uh, the Magical M6, M3, um, because I believe those presentations would have definitely came up to a whole new level. Now, if you are considering a magical speaker, I have to be honest, please make sure you have your ducks in a row. Make sure your power is clean. Perhaps consider a strong tank. Make sure you have, you know, the best cables you can afford. I can assure you, when you are there, it will feel as if you unlocked so many doors into the music that you never thought you could do. Um, the wow effect, the oh my god, holy effect is phenomenal. It is unlike anything else I've experienced in the room. The sound stage opens up, kind of like when you go to a movie theater and you're watching a movie and then the screen just does this and you hear, you, you see the screen open up before the movie begins. That's what this speaker does. If the presentation does that, you hear the sound stage just do this. If the speaker, if the presentation is not that great, everything stays in the middle, not much happening. It doesn't have any pop, any three-dimensionality. Speaking of pop, Guys, the bloom is something that I think this speaker has put front and center for me. The bloom is this feeling that the music comes at you and it just almost startles you. It almost makes you feel like you're in disbelief. Um, this speaker has completely shown me what that feeling is like. Perhaps I'm just very shocked at the fact that I never expected um, the S7 to do the things that it is doing for me. And again, I know I've been communicating with a lone wolf and he agrees, he wishes I would have had the electronics that I have behind me with the M6, but you know what? I can't turn back the hands of time. I have to continue to push this show forward. Um, so maybe one day I would get my hands on an M6 and bring it back and try again. That is probably something that could happen, but I cannot guarantee you, okay? Now, final thoughts on this speaker purchase. It has been probably one of the best investments I have made in my system, and I am here to tell you, every one of you guys, I am here to share this with you, that no, the speaker is not going anywhere. Focal Maestro left, and it's in a better home, bigger room than mine, and I think that over the next six months, unless something drastically changes, I do not expect for the Magical S7 to exit my room. Plus, I have very special components coming into the lab really soon. As a matter of fact, this should be here maybe tomorrow. And uh, I plan to do a video with a GoPro. You are watching me through a GoPro at this time. I am not using my cell phone. I am using a GoPro. So hopefully you guys can tell the difference when it comes to the quality of the video now. Um, and I have also a big spotlight, which that's why I look so shiny or <laughs> bright. But anyway, um, I am trying to ramp up my game because the level of electronics that are coming into my room are next level, beautiful. Uh, it's almost scary to know that I have gotten to this point um, in my journey. I am getting near the end of the road when it comes to the ultra high end. I am seeing very few options that remain of any interest to me. And uh, maybe one day, you know, I will begin to shift gears into something more affordable. Although I will tell you this, once you hear what I have built behind me, Guys, it is very difficult to unhear it. I, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but what I can tell you is, indeed, the system that you see behind me is one of the best systems I have ever assembled in the history of my lab, in the history of this channel. Um, I don't recall a system doing everything that this system is doing, but again, I am making sure that you guys understand, this is a system. This is not just the speakers, this is not just the boulder gear, this is not just the MSB Select 2 DAC or the Strom Tank. It's the entire system, the entire assembly of these components, including the cables, that is making me feel as if 
I am at the top of the Everest in many ways, and I hope to be able to continue to share these components, these presentations with you guys, because you guys know my intention here is to only beat the best version of me. I'm not comparing my system to anybody else's system on YouTube. I know some of you guys are out there using my channel and creating content to, to do your own comparisons of your system against mine. Hey, I thank you for that. Kudos to you. I'm going to give you guys your flowers because you are at least using me as your reference point. And I appreciate that. There is no such thing as bad press. What I am not going to be doing is comparing my system to your systems. I'm going to let you guys do that on your own. I'm only comparing what I build against the last version of me, the last best version of me. That's all I'm trying to do. Beat myself at my own game. If I go backwards, I go back to the drawing board. In the beginning stages, you heard the S7s. Many of you guys were already completely prosecuting the speaker because it wasn't checking your boxes. And what happened next? What do you know? The last two videos of this speaker have been what? Phenomenal. If you read the comments, you will see. It has been an incredible, incredible amount of positive acceptance of just great feedback overall about what I am doing here with the S7. And so I have a lot more tricks up my sleeve that you guys will be seeing on my channel very soon. And let me tell you, do not miss those because those are going to redefine the ultra high end. Thank you for your love, your time. Subscribe and do not forget to please support me. And remember what I do, nobody else is doing on YouTube. Until the next time, take care.